came out and I think we finally got all the flowers dug up. Now these are not planted yet. I just kind of put them where I want them to be. This, our yard is going to be really tiny. But the outside border of it is going to be mostly lilies. Day lilies and stuff. And then I've got this butterfly weed, which is a type of milkweed. It's about to bloom brilliant orange. And out in the field, I've got this. I think it's a type of allium, wild garlic maybe. It's so pretty. So it's just going to stay here. Got several of them right here in one spot. Got some over here that have already bloomed out nicely. Anyway, they're pretty when they bloom. So I'm going to leave them here. This is my birdhouse that I'll have to find a hanger for. And I'm going to put all these irises all the way around the bird bath. Just all the way around it. There's plenty of them to do that. And this is the rest of the potted plants that will be going in the ground for the next few days. Things that are more shade tolerant. This is the north end of the house. And I don't know if this guy's going to make it or not, but we'll try. Anyway, the north end of the house, some things that, are, that like the shade a little better. My beauty berry looks pretty dismal. Very much in shock from being moved. <coughs> Lemon balm looks a little frazzled. Oregano looks pretty frazzled. Lavender looks really frazzled. When I get them in the ground, maybe they'll come back. But the... Uh, Rosemary, it's doing great. It don't mind what, what you do to it, I guess. And then right over here, I have a pot with, with my asparagus in it. So I need to build up a bed here for the asparagus. And then next year, maybe it'll be better. Mm -hmm.